hello friends in today's video i'll be sharing with you a few new options which we have added in our app google business profile growth manager if you have started using this app then it's really good so you will be knowing in this video what new features we have added and how these features are helpful for you if you have not started using this app till now please start using this app at least it's free version which has a lot of features and you can really manage your Google business profile with ease using its free version too. And if you want to scale up your Google business profile to higher levels in search results, then you can start using its premium version as well. So guys, let's begin. I'll share the new options which we have released in our tool. And we have also released few new features related to artificial intelligence that is this tool is now AI enabled, which we'll be discussing in our next video. So let's begin. So friend, this is our tool, Google Business Profile Growth Manager's web version. You must be using its app, but I'll be uh, sharing this features, the new additions through the web version only. It's all the same, the same options, same menus you will find in the mobile app as well. So guys, just a small glimpse of using this app for those people who have not used this app till now i'll just take up that then we'll be discussing the further features so guys as you all know or if you are new to this app this is a web version of its app tools.localseotoolsandtips.com and same you can go to uh, google play store and download google business profile growth manager app the links i'll be sharing down below in the description you can refer that if you have not used that app till date so guys it's simple if you go with the web version or you go with the app same kind of screen you will get to see here you will just have to log in via your email id that's your gmail id just with the google auth nothing else it's only google authorization you will get logged in and this way you will uh, start it will start showing this icon of your google profile now once this is done guys you will click on get started to start with your app so guys if you want to know further what features are there in this free version in its premium version then it's very easy you can go to this pricing option that you will find in the app menu as well like this pricing i have just opened it for you there we have a free version we have an ads free version we have an individual version we have an agency version in the free version there are a lot of things given like you can see these are list of features given in ads free version there are few more additions to it apart from this version it's ads free there are no ads showing guys we need to run the ads it's important for us because this free version even cost us a lot in terms of maintaining this app the server cost and so many things if we don't run ads we won't be able to make out these expenses which we incur here and we won't be able to provide you with the free version so the free version is important that we run ads there in the ads free version you won't find any ads in the individual version guys you have lot of more features and you can manage your single profile in an agency version you can manage five different profiles and there are similar features as in individual version and if you are having an individual profile or you have two profiles you don't want agency profile which uh, has five uh, profile options then what you can do you can just buy an individual version and you can add any number of locations you want like if you want to add two three whatever you want but if you uh, have plans to add five or more than that then agency will be suitable for you similarly in agency even if you want to add more locations after five you can just go and add individual location we have also created a tabular chart kind of showing all these four versions and all these four plans and whatever is applicable it's been mentioned in detail here with this uh, right take cross mark so that you can easily actually compare what new versions we are bringing so this menu of pricing here on the top is very important you can just go and check this pricing option and you will get to know what features are available in which plan and you can decide which plan to go with it's very easy guys uh, you can start using this app if you have not done 
so this was all about its plans guys if you want to actually recharge this application then you can go to this my account section of yours and go to plan from here guys you can do this uh, uh, recharge off if you want the premium plan and you will be able to get all these information here so now let's come to our application guys when you click on get started we, i'll show you what options you get guys if you are new to this application i'll just tell you how to add after you click on get started guys you will uh, it will ask you a country of your uh, profile of your business where you have created it you have to select that country and then you have to sign in with your email id in which you already have a profile if you don't have a profile already you are new then you can just create after that on this uh, you can create a profile by clicking on this create business profile button or if you already have a profile you have to just sign in with your email id and you have to click on this add more locations once you click on add more locations guys it will automatically uh, start showing you that particular profile and once it is added you will just click on this and you are inside the profile to manage with all these options for which we have given separate videos in our series you can just watch these separate videos and you can easily start managing your business profile using this application guys so now i'll share few features which we have released latest in this application which were not there earlier so for that only i have created this video so the very first feature is guys this messages option when anyone is actually uh, viewing your profile via mobile device which normally occurs in 95 percent plus cases guys then there is an option of chat something like this so in this chat option it's very easy for one to click and ask you any query but if you don't know about this chat option or you have not enabled this chat option then it won't be visible here so i'll just show you how to get this chat option enabled but here what we have done is google was not providing us an api to manage these messages but still we have managed to provide an option in our application through which it will take you directly to that messages option you don't need to actually uh, check how to get this messages option so what you can do is you have to just come here log in to your profile and click on this messages option once you click on this messages option it will take you to a separate browser because as i told you google is not providing api for the same so it opens up in a separate browser and if you are logged into your gmail which will normally be there in your mobile device it won't ask you to sign in otherwise it will ask you to sign in uh, with that email id through which your profile is there and you can see all the messages which are there and if it's not enabled guys it will ask you to enable this particular message option also what you can do is you can enable this message option from advanced setting which we have in the app or when you go to this particular option and this window like this is opening you have the three dots and here notification is there in this notification you can enable this customer messages guys so there's another option how you can enable this and you can get to this notification window just i'll be sharing this uh, in the features today in this video itself so this message option is very important guys and you can start using this message option now guys there are few more things like people used to ask where to get this business profile id uh, for google customer support which is normally asked there so that also we have provided in this app what you have to do you have to go to this info section guys and in this info section when you scroll down you will get this business profile id for your profile which you can click here on copy id and it's copied on your clipboard now you can use it anywhere you can paste it anywhere similarly guys we have added an option to add labels which is just a grouping for your different different businesses which you have to group in a particular uh, by a particular name say we already have a group option but this option was provided by google so we have added this label option here too other than that guys you can add special hours which we have added in our new release and special hours are separate from the regular opening and closing hours which you have 
now guys we will check for another option we will go to our home section and that is additional settings there are additional settings in google profile which were not there earlier in our application for which you have to go to google uh, and check for your profiles web version because google has stopped its apps or uh, its direct business profile interface so now what we have done you don't need to search and go to google's interface because everything is provided within our app so when you go to this home uh, link you will find this additional settings option here guys what you have to do you have to click on this additional setting option and here you will get all the options like this notification option which you have seen i told you to enable messages you can open it from here second is guys this managers option through which you can create users which actually google provide when you want to give access to someone else via google then you can add this managers option guys third is help and support this help and support option will directly take you to the help and support option of google the last one is guys terms of service and this terms of service option will actually open the terms and services provided by google and the last one is chat gpt api key this is a new thing which we have released it's an ai enabled thing uh, using chat gpt we have created lot of automation lot of things lot of things which you can use through this but we won't be discussing in this video for that a separate video i have created but here you can actually add your chat gpt api key and how to add that is given in this video link here you can just refer this link you can click on this link and go to the chat gpt window and log in and then get the key and paste it here to enable chat gpt options so these were all additional settings which i wanted to discuss in this video there are few more things which i'll be discussing guys so guys next option which i want to share with you is this add owner option guys and i'll tell you why we have given this option what happens guys if you are using a premium version if you, if you are using this particular application for managing the profile of your client whether you are an agency or you are a freelancer then if you want to show your owner what work you are doing then you can give that owner access of your working only access guys he won't be able to do anything in that stop or add anything anything they cannot do in that only what he will be able to see is post which you are scheduling media which you are scheduling or citations which you are creating in this particular he will be able to see all those things so that things are transparent and what you need to do in that case you can ask that uh, owner of that particular profile to uh, log into this particular app using his gmail id which is for free only free version he has to log in and he has to provide that gmail id to you and what you have to do you have to click on this particular link add owner and paste that gmail id but not before he has created that account first you need to just log in to tools.localseotoolsandtips.com or google business profile growth manager app through its email once he logs in he has to provide you uh, that email you have just add this email here and he will be able to access this profile through that login whatever you do he can access only view and cannot do any changes in that so guys next option is this tools menu as you can see in this app earlier we had two menus like citation manager and geo tagging now what we have done we have combined them in this tools options the reason i'll just tell you because guys we are about to launch few no more tools in this particular tool so that uh, we can provide you a seamless experience using this particular tool as this tool will be an exclusive tool for all your local seo and business profile management and growth needs so what we have done we have added this in this particular tool link and a new option is also there that is link shortener tool uh, you can just click it here you can just start creating free of cost short links through this tool as well so guys this is a new change uh, if you don't find citation manager in this menu then it's moved to this tools option so now guys i'll be sharing the last change which we have done in our application that is in the media section earlier in the media section the customers tab was not there customer tab means guys when someone is actually 
posting some image to your profile externally as a customer uh, uh, through the web when they are accessing your profile. So those images you can view through this customer action, uh, through this customer tab and you can even view what views are there in this particular tab. So guys, if you have not started using this app till now, I'll be sharing the link in the description. You can just check that, you can just install, you can just log in and start using this app and this app is really really good and if you have some suggestions related to this app you can just share those suggestions with us we'll be happy to incorporate all those suggestions which is possible and which can be done at that point of time so guys you can just give your suggestions and i hope you like this tool so Keep watching this series for other videos, other options and definitely the AI enabled options which we have released in this tool. Thanks for watching this video.